What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RPE series and in this episode we'll set up the sand footsteps so when we are walking in the desert it will just sound cooler and better. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I'm to do is import the sand footstep sound. So let's go into our uh, audio folder in footsteps. I'm just gonna go ahead and select my sand footstep, which I will be linking in the description. And we just drag it and import it into Unreal. And here it is. It is very simple. I'm gonna press play, but probably you will not really hear well because I have my voice higher than the volume of my uh, computer, but it's a very simple sound i'm actually gonna go by default and put it by like times three on volume okay and that's a bit better um actually gonna put like times seven maybe, maybe that's a bit too too much but um that's a bit better so what we're going to do is basically duplicate the meta sound all right and this will be ms underscore sand first step and as you can see if you remember from the one of the first episodes i think it was uh, where we set this up but basically each time that we play the uh, sound um wave asset we slightly change the pitch between a random value and we make it more dynamic and uh, basically more uh, random so it will not sound so repetitive and it's a very cool trick and now what i am going to do is just go into the um into the where is it uh, the characters folder go into the mannequins animations i'm gonna go into many and what, what i'm going to do is basically go into the run forward animation and basically change the first steps to reference our new one okay um but instead of doing that which we will need to go one by one and it's gonna be the default one i think it's more logical to just go into the audio folder go into footsteps and basically just get our default footstep and change the wave asset to be our sand footstep okay and then get our sand footstep and just leave it to be the original one and now i can just go ahead and put this to be the um just put a w after like whatever key after the the old one and then the new one which is the sand you just put it to be by default on footstep and then the one that has the w you can just put sand so basically what i did was just um basically swap them okay so now the sand first step will be the one that has the sand first step and it was the original one so if i go back into my character animations i know it was a bit confusing but basically it's like i swapped them okay i just i basically just renamed the old um First step that we were using into the new ones you can see now by default we are using the sand first step which is pretty cool and if i press play even though we are in the old level don't worry we should hear it now it's very um low so let's increase a bit the volume in the meta sound itself so let's go and open up the sand go into source sound and put the volume to like maybe five uh let's test this out yeah this, uh, five will basically work all right, so now that we have the sand, uh, first step sound done, what I am going to do is set up the um, Niagara effect, okay? So I'm gonna have a bit of dust uh, that will appear, all right, as we are, you know, moving our uh, feet around the sand. So what we're going to do is go into the UI folder, and basically I am going to just right-click, create a new folder, and name this textures. And on here, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and drag in my dust PNG image that I will be leaving in the description, okay? It's just this simple dust image, as you can see, nothing crazy, and it's uh, transparent with PNG, very important. All right, so now with that, what we're going to do is convert this into a material so we can use in our Niagara system. So it's right click, create material, name this something as M underscore dust, and now in here, we need to change some values. So first of all, let's make it um that instead of being opaque it will be translucent so it will uh you know get rid of the alpha channel so let's go and just plug in the a uh which is the alpha into the opacity as you can see now we have that done and we are not using the um mast and we're using translucent instead so the transitions will be way smoother and it will be more realistic and look nicer 
And now another thing that I want to do is use the particle color node. And why we are going to be using this? Well, this is because when we uh, implement this material into our Niagara system, our color and alpha will slightly change over time. So that's why if we use the particle color, we can receive that input. And here, basically, I just want to use the multiply node and plug in the RGB just in case we touch um, the color. And the same with the alpha, just times it by the alpha that is from here. Okay, and just put it in opacity. And uh, now that will be good to go. So now we can just apply, save, and we have the dust material set up. Now we just need to create the Niagara system. So let's right click, go and create a new Niagara system new system from selected emitters so we can just click next and we'll choose a template in this case let's go a bit down until we see this omnidirectional burst and it was just you just pawn some particles um in a sphere form let's say and just outwards okay which is what we want for dust so let's just select that click the plus icon and say finish now we can just rename this to be something as ns of nigra system dust very simple and let's Go ahead and just open this, um, you know, Niagara system up. As you can see now, they just appear and fall, and they're just white balls. It looks awful. So let's go and change the sprite render and the material, and let's apply our M underscore dust. As you can see, once it has compiled, we have our dust. Now it looks very bad. It doesn't really look like dust because, well, under it's very small, very quick it isn't great so what we're going to do is first of all go and change the size to be a bit bigger so let's go in and select the initialized particle and let's put by default to be in between 10 and maybe 15 um that's a bit better as you can see now it's a bit bigger and another thing i going to do is change the um lifetime so it's going to be shorter so around like 0 0.3 to 0.5 and it will be very fast as you can see right uh, maybe we can leave it to around 0.7 it's a bit better as you can see there we go and then i am also gonna maybe increase this a bit more like 20 and uh, 25 that's a bit better and then i can go into the scale color as you can see this decreasing the alpha by time that's what I, why we added the particle color node before because we can now change this and it will change so i'm gonna drag in the last key a bit forward so it'll be a bit more um you know transparent at the end and maybe even at the start by default it will start a bit more transparent now it will look better when we see it uh, on the desert okay so don't worry about that but now we're gonna have that there uh we're gonna change a bit the velocity maybe that's a bit too much so maybe around uh 200 and 120 will be a bit better let's play this yeah that's that's a bit better as you can see now we start to get something so let's save we can always touch the parameters here just close and now what we need to do is go and basically spawn this uh whenever our feet touches the ground in this in this case we're gonna just put it as um uh, new notify where we play the sound so let's go into the characters folder go into mannequins animations many this is where we have our locomotion animations let's go into run which is there and basically when i put the cursor on when we you know place a foot go into the notify section and you said add a new track and this will be the dust ns for niagara system okay so now we can just right click with here add notify and we can put play niagara particle effect and now we can select that and just choose the dust that we just created and that will now appear as you can see there now um we could move it slightly to be more into the character's left, right? So um, it will align with better. If you want, we can do that. I believe it will be in the Y. Um, that's actually just putting it um, a bit forward. Um, let's increase this. Um, yeah, so it's playing around, but overall, I think I'm gonna just leave it in zero, 00 and it will just look good. So now can you select this, go and put it in the next key bind and just paste this and just repeat the same process okay so like i said you can move the transform options to align it with the feet that is um landing but in my case i think i'm gonna just let that through so in this case now that's working that's pretty cool and actually there's a uh, first uh, missing uh which actually is playing a bit forward there we go let's put this over here i don't know why i cannot put this here it's a bit weird all right, can I just... All right, that's weird. Anyway, that's okay. 
and as you can see the footsteps uh, and the particles will be playing on run so now that will happen as you can see it looks pretty cool and it will look even better in the desert so let's open up our levels desert and we can test it out and we might need to adjust just a bit the color of the dust but overall i think it will look pretty nice maybe we need to change a bit the color and opacity as you can see here we have our desert that we built with our little oasis that we made in the last episode so let's check it out if you haven't already and we can just right click over here for example and just play from here and of course the shaders are loading but now overall i think it looks pretty great overall wow that it looks really cool as you can see and i still shaders are loading okay so it look a bit nicer but i really like the first steps they're very subtle and i i really like them so uh that's cool and of course maybe we need to also apply it on the sprint because right now if i run holding left out they don't appear so we need to make sure that, that happens and also on the walk really so let's go back characters uh sorry it will not be rpg it will be mannequins because it's the default template ones many and then on sprint we're gonna also i think i already have it uh, copied so i can just add a new track dust and s and do the same process so use you know copy and paste okay as you can see for me without moving any translation uh it, it looks pretty cool so let's go ahead and just put everything over here there we go and i believe that we should also do it on the um on the walk right um we don't even have footsteps so i'm gonna leave it actually so that should be it for the footsteps as you can see now when we walk that moves around oh, i love how the oasis looks from the distance and if we run it also appears and it looks overall pretty cool now maybe we can make it a bit more subtle okay but just going into the uh, material which i don't even know where we created the um nigra system actually did we do it on um actually good question where would <laughs> where did i put it let's see um i put it on if we hover over this on ui textures okay well uh, okay i mean uh, i think yeah we can leave it there and basically i'm gonna enter in the material and basically just um by default okay the incoming and going to multiply it by around 0.8 to make it a bit less visible so you can see more uh, transparent like slightly right it's only a bit but it will just make it a bit uh, a bit better because um well you know it will be a bit more subtle and i love how this looks so that's it for this episode if you found it helpful i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel remember that the project files are available in my patreon and youtube members so check them out join my digital server follow me on my socials and now yes with all i said bye bye